WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 67. NASDAQ is up 153. S&Ps are up 23. And let's go over to Tesla, folks. So uh, Tesla broke the trillion-dollar mark out here today. Uh, Tesla, at one point in the marketplace, was actually up 16%, 14%, rather. Uh, you hit 1,045. Now, the thing that's really intriguing about this, of course, they, they're buying... Uh, Hertz is buying 100,000 Teslas off them. It's going to be huge. There's no doubt about that. But when you look at these numbers, it's pretty intense, man. Tesla is the first trillion-dollar company that actually, when you're looking at the S&P, their bonds are still basically junk bonds, which is just absolutely amazing. So we'll see where the rest of this shakes out. Uh, Value-wise, though, uh, it, it is like through the moon. And what I mean by through the moon, folks, is this, is that, it's trading at 177 P.E., but yet only growing by 12 percent in the United States. So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here continues to catch a bid, and that's even with the dollar up a bit. We have gold trading up 13.50. Uh, gold had big day on Friday, wide price spread, accelerated volume. You're holding price out here today. You're at 18.09. Gold wants to run up to this uh, 18.39 level. And uh, good old King Dollar. If we take a look at King Dollar. King dollar closed uh, below the lower range on Friday, jumped right above it once again. The 93.729 is the, the number to watch. And if we go over to the bond market, bonds look to me like they're off the lows right now. So this is going to get intriguing watching this, particularly because we have the markets higher, but yet the 10 and the 30-year bottom line are also higher too. And that's just another heads up that guess what? There's more underlying strength inside of the bond market. Uh, it went right to the lower end of its consolidation. When we talk about the lower end, we're talking on the 10-year 129.31. You're at 130 right now. And what we do have happening is that you're at a 1.63 on the 10-year. So I do expect you're going to get a bounce out of here. We'll see whether it's just a dead cat bounce or, in fact, guess what? Rates want to go down again, okay? Bottom line is that, yeah, on the longer term, I expect rates to go up. Shorter term, they know some bonds are saying they, they want higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now up 66. The Nasdaq is up 148. S&P is up 23. Come right back.